The city voted that investigating abortion will not be a priority for Denton police. William Joy shows us what it means for the city. Tuesday night, Denton had something to say. We don't need abortion clinics. If we can get them all shut down, this will be great. More than 40 speakers weighed in on a resolution that would tell police to make enforcing Texas's abortion ban with no rape or incest exceptions its lowest priority. I was raped when I was five years old. The childhood sexual abuse I endured caused me to start my period when I was nine years old. And the thought that any of that should result in me being forced to carry a child is horrific. And by a narrow margin, passes 4-3. It passed. And the city, with something to say, sent a message. I think it's really striking. Kimmy Lynn King is a political science professor at UNT in Denton. She says the 2014 battle over fracking is when the historically Republican Denton started to become more purple. What you saw yesterday was a mobilization to turn out because everyone is highly energized right now. We'll see if that kind of enthusiasm continues forward into the fall. The police department spokesperson said in a statement they still have unanswered questions about the resolution and had no comment. It doesn't matter if this resolution passes or not. It just doesn't make a difference. Councilwoman Allison McGuire, who's facing a recall in November, was behind the resolution. Our residents do not want their tax dollars used to punish them for seeking medical care. It's still unclear what impact the measure will have, but Tuesday night, Denton was heard. I would caution taking too much away from it, but I would say that it's part of a growing trend that both Democrats and Republicans ignore at their peril. In Denton, I'm William Joy.